G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today is a very special episode. Today is Fragorama. Behind me, the vendors are putting the finishing touches on their booths. Last night, they were here till late, getting everything set up so that their corals would open up and look beautiful today. So we're gonna take you inside, we're gonna show you the booths, and we're gonna show you all of the excitement of Fragorama. <laughs> So here we are, we're in Fragorama. Now we're actually at the Gallery Aquatica booth, which makes sense. Um, so this is it here, and you can see we have our six, was well five foot frag tank, two foot wide. We've got a mixture of three radions. Uh, we just took these from the shop and the prop room, just so that we had some, uh, some radions on the tank. It looks pretty good. They're certainly showing the colors of the coral excellent. We have our filter with seeded media. It's keeping the water crystal clear. Now, let's have a bit of a look at the corals that we've brought to Fragorama. So, this is one of the jobs you have to do at a frag show. Constantly keeping the front clean. But, I'm here to show you some of the cool things that we've brought to Fragorama. And, probably the most unique thing, and uh, I guarantee you we're the only booth here that has it. We've got branching coralline algae. Now this has been a really popular seller. A lot of people are into macro algaes and of course coralline, and to be able to offer people branching coralline, uh, it's, it's pretty cool and we do sell a lot of this. Uh, actually, it's also cool to see some of these corals have got their tentacles out, so they're doing really well. They're uh, enjoying the, the conditions in this tank. And this one in particular, it's got its tentacles right out. Uh, so, let's have a look at some of the other corals that we've got. So we've got a variety of chalice. Now these gold chalice, of course, are very, very popular. Uh, they're one of the more uh, top end chalice. And we also have a variety of chalice in this section here. I think chalice is probably one of the groups of corals which is probably uh, least uh, represented here at Fragorama. So it's good to have these in our booth. Let's check out the acro up the top. We might have to move the flow for that. <laughs> so at some point I'll have to get Anya to come over and have a look and we'll give you some of the, the names of these corals but I'm so impressed by the growth, the way that they've encrusted onto the frag plugs and this one here is a particularly good example. Um, we've also got some Montes back here, uh, we've got an Acropora over here. This will really be one of the, the key parts of our booth. The uh, Acrofrags that we've got here today are particularly good. Over here we've got the Gonies, um, a variety starting from $15 and one of the things that I've always felt is it's important to offer some uh, corals that are you know, cheaper than some of the, the top end ones that we've got and for a $15 frag these green ones are amazing. Uh, lots of red Gonies and a variety of red Gonies over here, Bird of Paradise, Stylophora, Pacillopora. I particularly like this one. It's uh, like a bright fluorotoxic candy cane. It's really, really cool. And down here, we've got probably one of the best magic morphs we've ever had. Uh, $450, I think it's a particularly nice magic morph and I really love that one. So one of the favorites when it comes to Australian frag shows is Frankie Frags. Now Jade hasn't actually got here yet, so whilst she's uh, on her way, we'll have a sneaky look at what she's brought. 
So she has got some amazing colonies of dead dritica. And so this is a, a bit of a, a rarer bird's nest. It's actually quite a difficult coral to keep. And to have big colonies, well, what I would call a big colony, we normally just see nubs in Australia, but uh, relatively big colonies, it's really, really cool. And they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, she's got some Jason Fox Leptocerus. Uh, she's got what I'm going to guess is a propagated scully, but uh, I'll ask her when she gets here. We've got grafted Montipora. Uh, of course, uh, lots of acros. They're very well known for their acros. Um, another uh, type of goni, which has got like a, a pink stem and uh, yellow tips. That is amazing. Uh, what else have we got? So more gonies, more great leptocerus. Yeah. Oh, look at that piece there. That's a huge colony. It's really, really healthy, really, really good. You can see all the corals that she's brought are just absolutely sensational. More of the dendritica. So here we are at Reef Underground, and I was having a sneaky look whilst Matt's not here, but he's got a great assortment of frag scollies. He's got heaps of them. They look really, really good. Some amazing colors down there. Also some sensational acans. The colors in these acans are just incredible. And you can see them growing down onto the, the frag plug. When you see an acan growing onto the frag plug like that, you know it's really healthy. Some sensational recordings. Look at the pink ring around that. It's awesome. So the blasto, a sensational. Let's see if we can ease that flow a little bit. Okay. All right. Some sensational blasto. Some really nice Duncans. We've got Monty and Gonny up the back there, really looking good. What else have we got over here? And. It's hard to see with the ripple and the flow, but some sensational <clears throat> mixes of zoas. So you can see here, I'm going to guess the scrambled eggs and what's the other ones? I should know all these names. <laughs> I should come around with the onions so I get all these names right, but certainly some really good zoas and they're all open and looking really, really good. So one of the most famous uh, reefing personalities in Australia is of course Shane Danger Coleman from MAFA and he has brought some sensational reef related, um, I'm going to say ceramics but that might not be the right term, pottery, but, but <laughs> this guy here is just, he is the coolest thing ever. So it's a porcupine puffer of course, all uh, puffed out and I just think about how awkward that would be if you fell on it, <laughs> it would be terrible, but he's a real little personality. Uh, these starfish are sensational too. Uh, we've got what we, uh, well, I won't say what it's called, but this is a type of starfish that we find quite amusing in Australia. Um, chitons, uh, other sea stars, jellyfish. Oh, look at the blue spot stingray. That's really cool. So the next booth we'll look at is another dry stock. Um, and it's just over this way. So regular viewers of Gallery Aquatica TV will of course know Reef Beard, one of the favorite personalities at Gallery Aquatica. Now, what a lot of people don't know is he is an incredibly good photographer and he takes some incredible macro shots of coral. And just here, he actually has a booth. And you can see he gets these amazing, I'm not gonna to touch any, I'll touch these ones here these amazing shots. So it's got prints, like that. Oh wow. And I was lucky enough that uh, Reef Beard actually gave me one of his uh, prints uh, on a frame like this uh, for my birthday. And um, it's hanging on the wall. It looks really, really cool. Okay, let's check out another booth. Viewers may remember Minto's Marine, which was one of the episodes we filmed last year. And we looked at a heap of different cool corals and displays uh, under his house in his fish room. But what really stands out to me from that visit was that amazing chalice that we saw. Now, it's actually here. And we've got one, two, 
three really nice frags of it. So the, the colony that we were looking at had these amazing bright orangey pinky sort of eyes and the really bright uh, ring around the new growth area. So there's three here on offer today. At $250, that's a really good buy and certainly something that I would consider buying myself today. There's also some, and this really stands out for me, some Rainbow Montipora, and at $40, that's an absolute bargain looking at the size of these pieces. Uh, I remember when we were, I don't know, we were selling it for like $400. It doesn't seem like that long ago, but really nice Rainbow Montipora, as well as a selection of awesome SBS and Zoas. Right next to Mintos Marine, we've got Kimberly Ann Jewelry, and there's some really cool little characters here. And I have to point out the axolotls up here. They are so cool. Uh, <laughs> at $40, I'll have to, uh, my nieces would absolutely love those. Um, my niece really wanted the Mexican walking fish and axolotl, but uh, I think that her house is too hot. But I'll get her one of these. They're really, really cool. Also, some awesome uh, earrings. The yellow tangs and the flame angels really caught my eye, but it's all so good and, and really, really creative. Now, we've got about 10 minutes before uh, people start coming into the area. We've just been giving you a bit of a, a look around before all the punters come in. So uh, we'll just start the, the countdown and very soon Fragorama will be on. So check it out. How good is this? Fragorama is absolutely going off. We've got so many people in this room, it's incredible. And the vendors are doing a roaring trade. We've got all the livestock, dry stock, everything is going great. People are having a really good time and it is absolutely amazing. But I've got to get back to our booth because we are selling so many frags, it's incredible. We've just stepped outside of Fragorama 2024, so we can just give you a bit of an update as to how it's gone. So yesterday we were here doing the setup and we had our 15 tanks with lots of different vendors, setting up, getting the corals ready, acclimating them, putting the lights on, the filters, and all of that. And it's gone really, really well. We've walked in this morning and we've seen beautiful tanks with corals that are open. The lighting looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with our AI blades. That was one of the best ideas that we had for this setup. Um, and everything has looked really good. And of course, when the doors opened this morning at 10 a.m., we had a flood of people coming in and buying corals. And I have to say that having been to a number of different E reefing events in the past that the selection of frags was probably some of the best that I have ever seen and I think that's one of the things that really does differentiate Fragorama from other events it's all about sustainability we're selling frags captive bred fish and only things that are aquacultured in aquariums we've also had a great response with our raffle we've got so many good prizes the uh, sponsors have been excellent with the generosity and all the things that they've given we're really happy with that as well but that's pretty much it for Fragorama 2024 it has been amazing to be able to bring this event to you and show you exactly how it's gone but that's it for 2024. Let's bring on Fragorama 2025. I'm Kevin the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.
That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatic TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatic TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!